The button configuration of the AC40 audiometer provides selection on the left side for channel 1 operation and selection on the right side for channel 2 operation. The middle button selection is used for specific test function. The buttons that have specific audiometer function are labeled on the device. These are the larger black and colored buttons on the main panel. These can also have multiple selections associated with them. The selection will be noted by the light illuminated below the name. To access the second or third selection of the button, continue pressing until your desired selection is illuminated. The smaller buttons on the top of the audiometer with no labels are termed function keys. Function keys allow for selection based on the label on the LCD display screen. This setup allows for a smaller footprint for increased usability and performance of the device. This video will review each button function beginning on the left side of the audiometer. The talk forward allows the examiner to communicate with the client through the selected transducer. The button is located under the SWAN microphone and to activate, press and hold the button. The talk forward can either be used with the SWAN microphone or the mic monitor headset. When the mic monitor headset is connected to the audiometer, the SWAN microphone is deactivated. The top row of large black buttons provides your input selection for channel 1. The input stimulus available through the AC40 includes tone, warble, wave file, mic 1, mic 2, CD1, CD2, narrow band noise as labeled by NB, and broadband noise labeled by N. The second row of buttons provides the transducer or output selection, which include right phone to right insert phone, left phone to left insert phone, bone right and left, as well as free field one and free field two. Selection of the right or left on the bone output allows for ear-specific results to be stored within the audiometer. The large black attenuator dial allows for changing of the intensity. The left dial changes channel 1, the right dial changes channel 2. Moving the dial to the right will increase the intensity while moving the dial to the left will decrease. The small button to the right is for stimulus presentation. Simply touch the middle of this switch to initiate the presentation. The button configuration on the right side of the device manipulates channel 2. This has the same input and output button selection as channel 1 with the addition of the off button and insert mask. The off button completely turns channel 2 off so no stimulus is presented to the client until a transducer is selected. The insert mask is a button selection not used in the United States. The talk back and monitor buttons are located on the far right side. When activated, the talk back button allows the clinician to hear verbal responses from the client. The monitor button allows the clinician to hear the stimulus being presented in channel 1, channel 2, or both, dependent upon the selection and illumination shown. The middle of the device button selection offers decibel interval selection of 1, 2, or 5 dB steps. Extended range allows the maximum output to be increased to a higher level. The maximum output is displayed by the dark shading at the bottom of the audiogram. This function is a precautionary feature of the device so the examiner is actively initiating these levels to be presented to a client. Once the button is pressed, the maximum output shading moves down on the audiogram to the limits of the transducer. Sync button allows the left and right attenuator dials to be locked, so by turning the channel 1 dial, the channel 2 intensity will also be changed. It is important to note that if the channel 2 is set to off, this button will not become active when pressed. A transducer must be selected prior to selecting sync. There are two manual reverse buttons. The left manual reverse button is for channel 1. Manual presentation initiates the stimulus when touching the tone switch. Reverse presentation allows for continuous presentation and will be interrupted upon touching of the tone switch. The right manual reverse button provides the same function but for channel 2 and is defaulted to reverse. This allows masking noise to remain on during the test session.
Single multi-button is for pulsing the stimulus. Single prevents the tone for channel 1 to a preset length. Multi presents a pulse tone to channel 1 as the tone switch is activated. Pressing the button a third time will return the tone presentation back to a constant stimulus and is presented as long as the tone switch is activated. Sim Alt button is for simultaneous or alternating presentation. Simultaneous will allow for channel 1 and channel 2 to present the stimulus at the same time. Alternate presentation will alternate the presentation between channel 1 and channel 2 with the pressing and release of the tone switch. Only the left tone switch will allow activation of stimulus with this button selection. The yellow button is to store the results of channel 1. Once this is selected, the threshold is marked on the audiogram with the appropriate symbol. No response button allows the clinician to mark this on the audiogram when the client shows no response to the stimulus. The bottom two buttons on the audiometer keyboard have two functions based on the test. When in the tone screen, the right button moves the frequency up along the audiogram, where the left moves the frequency selection down. When in the speech screen, these buttons reflect a speech score counter. The right selects correct and the left incorrect. The score is displayed at the top of the LCD display screen. Moving to the row of buttons at the top of the audiometer, on the right side of the audiometer are three small buttons with labels on the top and bottom. To activate the top command, which include delete point, save session, and printing from the audiometer, simply press the button. To activate the sub functions, or those commands in italics at the bottom, deleting a curve, creating a new session, or pulling up a list of saved clients, the shift key on the left side of the audiometer must be pushed first. It is important to remember that activating these sub functions in italics requires holding the shift key down prior to pushing the button and releasing the button on the right prior to releasing the shift button. Another function of the shift button is to activate the two-channel functionality of the audiometer. For example, to present the stimulus to both transducers and in both channels, hold down the shift button while pushing the right or left transducer button. Once activated, the right and left button lights will be illuminated. The setup button allows the examiner to make multiple screen setup selections and save profile setups to the audiometer. To enter any of the setup options, hold the setup button and use the attenuator wheel to select the desired setup screen. The next eight buttons at the top of the audiometer are the function keys. These buttons are not labeled directly on the audiometer, but on the LCD display screen. The functions listed are specific to the test screen displayed. Depending on the button selected, it may have a single selection purpose that is highlighted in yellow when active, or it can have multiple selections to scroll through and select. The last button to discuss is the test button. The test button allows the examiner to access special test setups and screen layouts. To access any special test, hold down the test button while moving one of the attenuator wheels. Once the test is highlighted, release the test button to have the audiometer adjust to the default settings and or screens. For more information on special tests within the system, review the instruction for use manual provided with the audiometer. There are quick keys to access the tone and speech testing screen rather than using the test button. When the tone, warble, or noise buttons are selected, this automatically moves the audiometer to the tone screen. Selection of wave file, microphone, or CD buttons defaults to the speech screen. These quick keys allow for easy access to common test functions.